Hey, welcome back, guys. Okay, so let's finish up with our messages. So the first thing we want to do is to be able to delete our thread. So we can delete a single message, but we want to be able to delete an entire thread. Okay, so that's uh, not that difficult to do. So since we already have the blueprint for a single message, we're just going to develop that. So let's go to our text editor here. And I am going to messages.php because I want to see where I am reading an entire message, a message thread here. So it says chatting with, so whoever this is I am chatting with, this is the point right there. So what I want to do is create a button just after this user.php because this is this part here. So I will just copy from the send button here. So I will come over here at this top and do an echo. I will use single quotes because there are double quotes inside there. And then make sure you change this type to button and not submit because otherwise it will just be refreshing the page when you click this button. And now I want to put an A tag here. I'll say href is equal to I will move out of that so I can add a variable and do that so what variable do I add you ask well data here contains our entire thread <clears throat> so it contains our entire thread so which means each and every one of them has what it has the same message ID so I'll just get from the very first item and I will copy the mess message ID like so but I want this to take me to the delete page so first of all I will put my root over here so we'll say root and then after root I will put uh, a delete and then I will say thread because we want to differentiate from a message and a thread so and then after that, I can concatenate that part over here. So then let me echo out the closing part of this A tag, like a so. Okay, so seems legit, but here let me say delete thread. And I obviously need to change a few styles. So let me refresh and you see it there, but uh, the width leaves much to be desired. So let's put some styles. So first of all, I will put the width and tell it to be automatic. And then I will put a cursor of pointer. And of course, uh, it would be nice to have it a different color. So let's inspect the element and let me move it to the red zone here for a second. Copy that color back here and put background color I'll put that background color there okay so there we go everything good now if I do click on this it takes me to delete thread blah 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 no post was found so indeed we don't uh, we're not looking for a post but we want to delete so let's make it so that it can recognize when we say thread so in this case we are going to delete.php so let's go to the very very top now the first part is here where we are checking if it's equal to message and uh, this looks like what we are looking for so I will duplicate this part here go down here put an else statement there like this so if message done but if thread, let's do something else, shall we? So the message is equal to read one here. Now, access denied, you can't delete this. Let's change that to thread, shall we? Okay. Now we want to be able to read just one message from that thread, and that, that should be enough. So <clears throat> let's go to the classes uh, messages classes here so there's this one which reads the threads but 
I want to just read one thread. I don't want to read one message like the way this is because I want to get the latest message in that thread. So I will copy this, duplicate like that. Read one underscore thread. So let's remove that S over here message id like that because we will supply a message id because that's what we are supplying in our url okay pretty good so once we get that message id let's uh, make sure we sanitize it by escaping it security first and then let's remove that query we don't need so read one thread so how do we read one thread here the only thing we need to do is just add to this right here this or this pretty good but let's put an and statement and message id is equal to <clears throat> let's put that uh, message id pretty simple yeah mm -hmm. But this, uh, there's many of these guys that have this message ID. So, but we just want one item. So, at the end of the day, even though we get all of this, what I will do here is I'll say return false. But if this is an array, then let's return the data. But I just want that very one item. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so, let's read one thread. Copy that. Let's come back to uh, delete.php and this is where we are. Read one thread. Yes, read one thread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Now let's refresh. And as you can see, we have. Uh, are you sure you want to delete this post? That's not the question we should be asking, should we? But. Let's go down to 257 and let's see what's uh, going on down there. So, uh, 257, where are you? Right there. So, it's going to the else side, but what we're trying to do is more like this. So, I will duplicate this and I will put an else statement again so that now we have two. Of this but then I will change one of these to thread same procedure are you sure you want to delete this thread well of course my man I want to delete this thread now here we will say user row I think all this remains the same include message left blah 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 that's probably fine just here we change this to message ID and I think uh, we should be good. I'll refresh and there we go. So the beauty of this is that we are seeing the very last message here, which is what we want, because that's one more message. If I click delete thread, we are still seeing the very last message. That way we know we are deleting the correct thread. Now, the only thing remaining is when the user clicks delete, what happens? So let's go up here. Where are you, where are you, where are you? So exactly the same way. We are going to we're going to duplicate this one again put z else statement and then put thread over there okay so now if this is a thread delete one hmm. yeah maybe let's put thread at the end so delete one thread okay and the post id which is the message id in this case the thread id so uh, this is good now the problem is we are having the same exact uh, question here mm -hmm. so if one is equal to message there if oh if one is equal to thread wait a minute wait a minute it's thread okay so it will come here all right, so let's go to check where we say delete one thread. But let's look at how we are deleting one of these guys. So back to the messages classes. 
let's look for delete one and this looks pretty good and uh, good enough to copy so let's duplicate it the same delete so instead of just delete one wish we are going to say delete one thread 